right? Dude, that's ridiculous. Isn't that cool? All right, I am back at Castaic, and uh, I'm going to be targeting stripers. That's pretty much it. Top water stripers for as long as I can. If that's completely dead, I may mess with some bass. Uh, they've been hitting a lot of top water, so I may uh, try to catch a few bass. But it's mostly about the stripers on top, and uh, we will see if I can catch them. I don't think I'm going to be here all day and wait till the evening bite. I'm hoping that they go off early. It's kind of foggy out, which is kind of cool. That could uh, stimulate the bite. Um, and then that's it. All right, I'll see you soon. So, all this top water bass action is cool. It's going on all around me. It started in this cove and kind of worked its way out, so, but it's everywhere. I can get it in like this when they're really aggressive and there's competition, you can usually get hit. It's fun, it's cool to mess with these bass, but it can be a big distraction when you're targeting striper because these bass are hard to catch on top because they're chasing a little bait and they're mostly small fish anyway. I got a couple of strikes and had one briefly and that was about it. So it's exciting and it's maybe it's the saltwater angler in me that makes me want to stay because when I hear activity I want to keep fishing but it's not the activity I'm looking for. Still looking for striper bite so I'm going to move along. Well, <clears throat> I hate to feel like a broken record but I kind of assumed it was going to be slow. Besides the, top, uh, the bass on top earlier, there's just not a lot going on. The lake is so calm. There's like no wind. Um, I've been around the lake once to see if there's anything going on and there's nothing. So I assume the stripers are going to hit later. I just don't know how much time I'm going to spend. Uh, I can't spend, you know, 10, 12 hours just for 45 minutes of striper bite. So uh, I'll probably stick around for a few more hours, mess around with some bass, uh, do a couple more laps around the lake. And if nothing's going on around noonish, maybe one, I'm gonna call it. Yeah, you moron. Now, I'd hate to think that. Anyone out there thinks that I only post the good fishing videos, uh, which makes it seem like I'm the greatest fisherman in the world. Uh, but everyone knows that's not true. Um, so I just don't want to post any boring videos because nobody wants to watch that. I don't. So uh, I don't even know if I'm going to post this. Uh, top water in the morning, only bass. Uh, caught one, had a few hits. Uh, I got some cool underwater footage, so hopefully that looks cool. And it'll give you something uh, interesting anyway, just watching the bass feeding around the dock on the shad. Uh, and that's it. Uh, I just didn't have the time today to wait. The bite has been late in the afternoon, and I just don't have the time to wait around. I got other things to do, like play basketball. So that's it. Um, all right, I will see you tomorrow. All right, I'm back, and it has been a while. Um, I have been out fishing a few times, uh, maybe two or three times, just a couple hours here and there. Uh, and basically, I'm just, I've just been looking for the striper bite, uh, and it's been uh, non-existent for me. I've had some other things going on, so I can't stay from like open to close. Uh, mainly, you know, trying to play basketball every week. Got to stay healthy. Um, so I've just been doing like the morning uh, bite or, or late evening. Uh, I went on one Sunday and then the mid, whatever. Anyway, there's not a lot of action. Um, I'm not really targeting bass right now. I mean, they're all keyed up on shad and I can't stand drop shot because you get, you know, you just get snagged all the time at Castaic. Um, so I mess around with the bass a little bit and, and search for striper. I'll show some of the clips that I got from that day, but there was just honestly not enough to even make a video. So about two or three short trips uh, and just nothing was going on. You know, I just came out to, to look for the striper and I could not find any, but I am back here today 
Uh, I've had some good reports um, going out with my buddy Jim, and hopefully we'll get on some striper boils, uh, maybe do some trolling for some striper. He's had some success uh, with each, um, and he's actually was able to catch some shad and, and get into some bass uh, too. So that's, that's basically it. All right, I will see you on the water. Right, he's back here. Right. So far, it, it's all bass. Yeah. <laughs> I keep getting hit, but my hook's not really, um, my hook's not really ready for these guys. You would think maybe like a flock of birds. There's one. <laughs> Nice fish. Oh, nice fish. Get the net. Well, I almost wasn't going to record because I was like, oh, another little baby bass. Oh, wow. Oh, you got it. Beautiful. That's weightless? Yeah. He's skinny. He's, yeah, he's skinny. That's why he's eating mine, I guess. Oh, nice fish. Yeah. Oh, this feels like a striper. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> big bass. Hungry. This one's a little more feisty than that other one. Again, I just let it sink next to the wall there where the current's whipping around. That's what they want, something really easy to grab. Oh, yeah. The bigger ones don't want to chase anything. Come on, don't eat that. Chunky. Nice chunky little guy. Alright. Nice fish. I it. I, yeah, I saw him. I saw him. Awesome. Not the striper. That was probably my striper, Jim. I mean, well, I've been. Know, I came back there because you said the competition thing was the key. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one that was when in that group. That was awesome. Yeah, they finally got one. Big fish. It's right here. Nice. That's the one. Oh, awesome. Beautiful.
we finally got a striper today. Yeah. Nice. We were able to trick him. Trick him with the bass. Nice. Good work to tell. Oh, yeah. Alright, so we're just leaving one of the coves right now. We were targeting uh, stripers. We didn't see any boiling, but we got into some boiling bass, as you see, and we would see like one striper for every five or six bass chasing our flukes. And uh, eventually we got one to commit, and that's the one that you see on the video. Dude, that's ridiculous. Isn't that cool? Right as you're saying that. Yeah, you can reel that. Oh, you can reel that. That's good. That's good. You're very good. What is it? Right there. What was it? Was it a striver? Yeah. All right, so I didn't do a wrap-up video from the other day. Um, I don't remember why I didn't do one. I think we were just leaving and I was kind of in a hurry. Uh, but anyway, it was a great time fishing with Jim. Uh, it was cool the different ways that we caught fish that day. Uh, we weren't really targeting bass, even though I caught a few. Um, we're targeting stripers and uh, we didn't find any uh, boils, but they were mixed in with the largemouth and the largemouth were hitting a lot of uh, top, as you see. So, uh, like I said in the video, it was cool because we're targeting the stripers that were mixed in with the bass. We could see them every once in a while coming up. Um, and there was just a ton back there in that cove. It's like the whole, the whole key right now, from what I can tell, is just finding the right cove uh, that's got tons of shad. And, and hopefully they got bass and stripers mixed in. Um, and then as we were searching for boils, we tend to troll uh, as well. Jim's had some luck doing that. Uh, and he found a couple spots and a couple of tactics of uh, that was it's really effective. Like I, like you see in the video, he he calls it like right at this one spot, right at this one depth where he knew he was going to catch a fish, and we did. So that was kind of cool, even though we didn't get on the boat. So yeah, it was cool. Uh, it, it's kind of a it's the fall transition right now, so it's a little tricky uh, to catch fish in general. But if you can find the bass feeding, and you throw some little swim bait, a kite tech, a fluke. Uh, anything I, I think you're in good shape also uh, some um, worms on drop shot you can get live shad that's the way to go you can sometimes catch them in the backs of those coves and around the dock and everything but anyway uh, that's it uh, I think I'm going fishing tomorrow so I will see you tomorrow